All right, it's time for a cup of Linux quickie. A few things I wanted to mention. The first one being that uh, Phil Mueller has announced that there is a beta release already for PAMAC version 4.1. Apparently, uh, Guillaume really loved the suggestions that have been made by the community to improve PAMAC, and so he actually has pushed some updates. So if you click the link in the description, it will take you to this page here, and it has some instructions for installing this latest release. So I'm going to show you uh, the updates that we've uh, got for this uh, that I've been able to see here. Okay, uh, if you're running unstable, just uh, sudo pacman dac dac sy pacmac dac dac dev. And then, of course, uh, if you're using uh, any branch, you can run this command here, sudo pacman u. And uh, the package is right here for you. With all of that out of the way, I downgraded one of my packages so that we could do an effective test. And uh, you'll see here, I right-click on the PAMEC icon and open the Update Manager. It tells me what the package is. We'll go ahead and apply the update. Commit. Okay, and then we just follow the prompts. Very simple, very easy. That was a piece of cake. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at what has been done here. When we uh, right-click on the star icon and select Package Manager, okay? Uh, one thing I noticed, that because this is a dev build, it did not honor my preferences. So, if you had AUR enabled, you won't see it here um, when you uh, go to do a search, okay? because you'll have to go into preferences you'll need to click the AUR tab and you will need to turn it on before you see it here okay and I'm sorry if I did not mention that in the last video uh, for the AUR tab uh, you can search AUR by default check package updates from the AUR or do not ask for confirmation when building packages. I never check this one. I want to confirm everything, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and show you uh, what we're doing here. Something I want to mention, while you are installing packages on this, you can still continue to surf and look at other packages at the same time, okay? Now, when you select a package, and in the instance of Alpha 52 Delta Echo Charlie, we can right-click on this and select Details now. All right, and the buttons in the middle here for Details, Dependencies, and Files, okay, um, are available here. They've also added Remove and or Reinstall buttons here as well. Okay, if a package is not installed, then you will see an Install button there. Let's back up here and let's look at some packages that are not installed. Okay, we've got Compiz Manjaro here as an example. Details, dependencies, and you can click on the dependencies and get more information on them. Okay, you'll notice how that's changed when I clicked on a dependency all right, it's, so you got, that's something I didn't mention before. I just figured I'd bring that up. You have uh, additional options there for the dependencies of the dependencies, okay? <laughs> you just broke the space-time continuum with that, Guillaume. Awesome job. All right, and then, of course, we can install Compiz Manjaro, but if I install this, then that means I'm going to break Compiz Reloaded, and uh, that's not happening. All right, uh, so pretty much uh, that is uh, the update. Um, this is pretty cool, so be sure if you download this and try this, make sure that you um, click the link in the description for feedback and you, uh, and you um, let the team know. Double-clicking still opens the um, details. But now, right-clicking and selecting details will do the same thing. Really, really cool. This just makes great fantastic. All right, um, I have another announcement, too. Thanks to Minjaro's benevolent dictator, Philip Mueller. Thank you very much for uh, giving me uh, some feedback on GitHub. 
uh, I was able to uh, fork his sonar, uh, his sonar ISO Linux project, and as such, I made some boot screens for the Manjaro Cup of Linux edition. So on my next snapshot, you'll be seeing some new splash screens when uh, you uh, load one of my live CDs. They're beautiful. I actually, uh, to, to get these screenshots, I actually built a net install with the ISO Linux because I want to make sure that it works. And it works perfectly. Maybe I'll be putting a video up sometime soon uh, explaining how to uh, do the customization. It's really not that hard once you figure it all out. Well, that's all I have on this cup of Linux quickie. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next, but I'm sure I'll have something exciting coming up very soon. Until then... Peace out!